Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue parti partitioning shapes, so cutting shapes into halves and quarters. We're gonna be doing circles and rectangles. The idea is in this lesson, we're also going to add the concept of comparing, which is larger, one half or one quarter, or which is smaller, one quarter or one half. And so that's the added level of difficulty. Is we've, not only are we going to be partitioning uh, into halves and quarters, circles and rectangles, but we're also going to add the concept of comparison. So let's get started. So here we're going to ignore, um, I'm going to go beyond just the idea of how you parents and teachers are going to teach this to your students. We're going to jump straight into the homework. The question says label the shaded part of each picture as one half of the shape or one quarter of the shape. So the idea is what do we have here? What do we have here? So we want our students to recognize that shape A has been cut up into quarters and that this is one quarter. And we want students to recognize that B has been cut into halves, and so this is one half. So we're gonna zoom in here a little bit, and we're gonna indicate that this is one quarter that's been shaded in right there. And then we're gonna recognize this piece right here as one half, and that's the piece that's been shaded in. So we're going to zoom out here, and then we can answer the question. So which p picture has been cut into more equal parts? Well, which one, A or B? Well, A has been cut into more equal parts, but the question is, well, which part picture has larger equal parts? And it's B. And so we're going to label that B. And then which picture has smaller equal parts? And that's, of course, it's A. And now parents and teachers, what they're trying to guide our students to recognize is that when a figure has been cut into more parts, those resulting parts end up to be sh smaller, smaller parts. So the idea is the more pieces you're cutting, the more equal sized pieces you're cutting it into, the smaller those pieces become. That's a big key thing that we want our first graders to be uh, learning. And then question two, it says write, <clears throat> write whether the shaded part of each shape is a half or a quarter. All right, so here, what do we have here? We have a half. What do we have? Here, we also have a half. And then we can go down here. What do we have here? This is a half. What do we have here? Now, kids might say quarter, but it's actually, we want them to say it's a half. Even though it doesn't look the same, they are both halves. And the reason we, we did that previous slide is to lead us into this slide, which is now we're going to be introducing the concept of comparison. So it says one quarter, so color part of the shape to match its label. So it says color in a quarter, color in a half. And then circle the phrase that would make the statement true. I love the fact that they're taking this square, they put it on its point, to make it kind of look like a diamond. And, and our students might want to say, diamond, that's a diamond, it's not a square. But of course, parents and teachers, please help your kids understand that this is indeed still a square. It's kind of this bonus teaching in addition to the fractions that we're learning. So we're gonna color in one quarter of the square. Tons of different ways you can cut that into quarters. I'll cut this way and then we're going to shade in one quarter. And then over here it says shade in one half of the square. So I'm going to keep with that theme and I'm going to just go a vertical line straight down and we're going to shade in one half. So there's my one half. And now I'm going to go back and say, let's 
circle the proper phrase. So one quarter of the square is, is it larger, smaller, or the same as one half? And we can see that it is smaller. So one quarter of the square is smaller than one half of the square. And you get that same idea on question B. We're going to cut this square, this rectangle into quarters. We're going to cut this rectangle into fourths. Ooh, so now parents and teachers, are you seeing? We're adding a new vocabulary word, fourths. So one quarter and one fourth so that our students begin to see that one quarter and one fourth are the same. And so, of course, we're going to circle is the same as. And that wraps up a fun one. That was first grade, module five, lesson nine. We're partitioning shapes. We're still dealing with halves and quarters. Although we just introduced a new word, fourth. We're still doing circles and rectangles, but we've introduced the idea of comparison. Hey, by the way, do this. Subscribe.